Hello everyone and welcome to the video. In this video we will see permission sets in Salesforce. So in previous video we have seen data security in Salesforce in that we have seen profile permissions then object level security and field level security. The video link of data security in Salesforce I have given in description box you can go through it. So what is permission sets in Salesforce? The permission sets is a part of object level security. Then it's a collection of settings and permissions which gives additional access to the user. Then in permission sets, we cannot restrict profile permissions. That means which permissions we have given from profile, the permission sets cannot restrict that permissions. Then we will see what is permission set assignment. So moving ahead, we will see what is need of additional access to the user and that access why cannot give from profile. For that we will take a scenario and then I will demonstrate you how to create permission sets and assign to the users. So using the scenario we will see why need additional access to the user and why cannot give from it profile. Using this scenario I will demonstrate you how to create permission sets in Salesforce and assign to the users. For example we have created custom bank app in our org and we have two profiles manager and then employees. In the manager profile there is one user who is the manager of bank and then in the employee profiles there are three employees which working for the bank. Now let's say for some days the manager of the bank is on leave then we need someone to be there on his behalf and he will manage the work assigned to him. But what is the problem the manager and employees there are two separate profiles and they have different permission that means let's say there is a custom object bank account. So here what the employee does they are creating an account. This access also has manager so he also can view and create the bank account. But as the manager is on higher position for that he also has the authority to give the loan to the customers. But the employees profile users doesn't have that authority. So in this case when we want to someone from employee profiles do the work of manager even we assign any employee profile user to the manager level but he don't have authority to give the loan to the customers. So in this situation the permission sets come to the picture. The using the permission sets what we can do? We can assign the permission sets to the particular user so that using the permission sets he will got authority to access the manager profile permissions. And when we assign the permission sets to the particular user he still in the employee profile even he can access the manager profiles permissions. Here you must be thinking why we cannot give permissions to the B user from the profile. In previous video we have seen it will allow to the all users who are under that particular profile. So here if you give manager level permissions to the employee profile then it will be accessible to the all users and it will be the security issue. And we know that one profile has many users that means here is the established relationship of one to many that means one profile and many users but it will don't have one user to many profiles. That means here we can't assign the manager profile to the B user that means employee profile user. So in the permission sets we can assign multiple permission sets to the multiple user. And when we have many to many relationship there is a junction object and here is the junction object of permission set assignment. Using this permission set assignment we can assign group of permissions to the multiple users or we can say group of users. Now when we assign the permission sets to the particular user the other two users can only access the data which he has permission from his profiles that means employee profiles. They doesn't have access or they can't access the manager profile permissions or so quickly jump to the org and here I will demonstrate you how to create permission sets and assign to the users. Now first. I will show you the custom profiles that I have created. How to create custom profile video link I have given in description box you can go through it. There you will be learn how to create custom profiles. So here as I click on employee profile and then view users. I have three users and then we have another profile of manager profile as I click on it. Here I have one user. Now here I will first explain scenario. As I log in with manager user. Here you can see I logged in with another user and then we have custom bank CRM app. Now here you can see there is bank account then transaction and here is a customer loan. As I click on view all records here you can see we have four records as I open any record and in that record manager needs to create account holder name then he will enter loan amount and here is the loan approved checkbox. That means when the manager approved this loan that customer will get the loan. 
then I am logging out with this user and now we will log in with any employee user here you can see employee profile and I am logging in with Joy Alexander and here you can see he cannot see customer loan object that means he don't have permission to the access that object now in case when the manager on leave this particular user needs a permission to the access that customer loan object for that using the permission sets we can give that access so he can work behalf of manager user so let's create permission sets for that i am log out this alexander joy and then to create permission sets go to the setup in the quick find box search for permission sets then click on permission sets now we need to create new permission sets for for that here you can see new button click on it and then enter the label assign alex to manager level now as you click on API name it will automatically populate then as you scroll down here you can see here is the license this is an optional but here I explain what is the use of this license here you can see there is all license which we have is available now let's say if you select the sales user that means you can assign this permission sets to only that user that under the sales user profile here I am selecting none and then save our permission sets has successfully created now we need to give access of customer loan object to the alexander for that here you can see object settings as you click on it here you will be see all available object in the salesforce now we need to search for customer loan here you can see customer loan click on it now here you can see we have opened customer loan object now what we need to do we need to give some permissions so that employee profile user can access the manager level data and from here we can give tab settings then object permissions and then field permissions now to give the permissions click on edit button and then here you can see tab setting available and visible after that we need to give object permissions that means read create edit delete view all and modify all now here we only give read and create permissions why this because of manager only can edit and delete their record this is for the security purpose and after these permissions we will give field permissions before that let's check this given permission has applied to our user or not for that click on save button to save these permissions and then here you can see manage assignment button this manage assignment is the junction object between user and permission sets click on manage assignments and then here we need to assign this permission set to the user or group of user for that here you can see add assignment button click on it and then here you will see all users in the org as you click on this list view here you can see active users admin users and recently view to filter this user i am clicking on active users and then we have now manager profile employee profile where we have three users and then manager profile only one user now we need to select which user we need to give these permissions here i am clicking on alexander joy this is employee profile user and then click on next button now here you can see select an expiration option for assign user here is two options no expiration date and specify the expiration date no expiration date means this permission set will assign this user till we don't deactivate this permission set now as we click on specify the expiration date here we have option one day one week 30 days 60 days and custom dates now as we click on one day that means this permission sets will not available for after one day for this user here i am selecting no expiration date and now here you can see selected users alexander joy and then you need to click on assign button now here you can see status success and then click on done button now to check whether this permission set assigned to this user or not for that we need to log in with this user for that we need to log in with this user to log in with alexander joy you can click on this and this user profile will open 
and you simply click on login button. Now here you can see customer loan tab. That means the employee profile user can also access the customer loan tab or customer loan object. Now as we click on the customer loan and as you open all records you can see he can see all records. Now open any record but here you can see he cannot edit any fields or he don't have permission to see all fields. And now we will try to create new loan record for that here you can see we have given permission to create new record click on new button and here you can see there is no field to create new record for that we need to give field permission so that he can see all fields for that we need to give field permissions so that he can create the record or see the fields to give the field permission again we need to navigate to the permission sets for that we need to log out this user and again search for permission set now we have created this permission sets click on it and then again go to the object settings now search for customer loan object click on it and then click on edit button now scroll down and here you can see field permissions in this object we only created account holder name and then loan amount and loan approved checkbox now here I am giving permissions here you can see read and edit access to select account holder name I am giving read and edit access then loan amount read and edit access but here in the loan approved checkbox this authority should have only manager level for that what we can do we have read and edit access here we only give the read access now I am going to save this permission now again we don't need to click manage assignment button because this permission set we already assigned to this user now again I am going to log in with this user clicking on login button and then open the customer loan tab now as we click on create new record now here you can see this field is available for employee profile user then account holder name is lookup field as we search for any account holder which we have created in bank account it will appear here now select any account holder and then enter the loan amount for example this account holder needs 50,000 loan amount and then here you can see in the loan approved checkbox is only visible for this user he cannot edit this loan approved checkbox after entering field click on save button the customer loan record has been created successfully now when the bank manager will log in with manager profile then he has authority to approve loan or reject the loan now i will show you login with another employee profile user whether they can see this customer loan object or not for that log out this user and then in the quick find box search for a profiles click on it here you can see employee profile i am clicking on it and then view users here we assign permission set to the joy alexander now i will log in with different user so that we can see they can access the customer loan object or not now i am logging with mi once here you can see we have logged in with different user but they cannot see customer loan object this is the use of permission sets so that we will give permissions to different profile user so they can have additional access again moving to the permission sets now from the permission sets we give the additional permission for apps then connected apps object setting app permissions which permissions we can give from profile those all permissions we can give from permission sets also except password policies ip ranges and login hours etc these permissions we cannot give from permission sets but other all permissions we can give from profile and permission sets also then in this video we have seen using the permission sets how we can give additional access and those access why we cannot give from profile for that we have taken scenario and I explain how to create permission sets and assign to users or group of users in Salesforce. If you like the video hit the like button subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get regular updates. Thank you.